every hairstylist is looking for efficiency without sacrificing the quality. And that's what we, these are what this shear offers. <laughs> HH13T, it's also known as the eraser. I find this shear really great for point cutting. Um, I oftentimes will tell a client or, or a stylist in the salon, I'll say, as fast as you can pull your section up and do this, I can take this shear and do this. It's 16 point cuts in about one second. They're perfectly spaced so that way you can do that. And the efficiency, it cleans up your time. Every hairstylist is looking for efficiency without sacrificing the quality. And that's what this shear offers. It also is, a, women are moving into hair extension, allowing themselves to get that fullness and that body. But a lot of times they're coming in with hair that sits around the shoulders and they want their hair to be right about here. Well, this shear allows you to take the hair up in a 90 degree position and blend through the backside and seamlessly give it no lines so the hair looks natural. It's a wonderful tool and it all around is probably one of our top sellers. Without having this, your kit's not complete. So a couple ways for somebody like me who doesn't do hair to explain this to a stylist in layman's terms so they understand it easier and it's easy for me to understand is, is that this is actually 14 teeth and each one of these teeth is an eighth of an inch thick. So it's an eighth of an inch point cut. So instead of a stylist taking that time to point cut each section, this is gonna be 14 eighth of an inch point cuts, one and done, on to the next section. When a stylist or a barber is doing those tapers or fade and they're trying to marry the top to the bottom and they're leaving that heavy weight around the parietal ridge, which is gonna be this area of the head, if you're following my fingers, that's where the most hair grows on any human head. Does not matter if they have thick, thin, coarse, fine hair. That's where most of the hair is gonna grow. Sometimes it's harder to go through that with a 40 tooth blending shear. The 13T is going to allow them to go through and break that weight line up. And a lot of times blend naturally just with that. But after that, if there's still a slight line there, they can go in easier with the 40 tooth blending shear, which is a really good selling point too for you to add another shear on top of this one and get you working towards those four shear sets and or six shear sets with clients. Another great thing about this shear is, is that when you're talking about point cutting into hair, you can only go ever as deep as the blade is long before you push the hair down and take a chunk out. This is going to allow you to go as deep as you want. Another important thing to notice about each one of our texturizers or blending shears is that in between each of these teeth, they're all rounded out, which is going to allow the hair to always slide through and not grab. A lot of times clients and stylists don't don't want these shears to touch their hair because they've had bad experiences with stylists ripping their hair out with them because of the design being squared in between the teeth. Ours don't do that. So theoretically speaking, you could start at the root and go all the way through, which we would obviously wouldn't advise to do. But this is going to allow you to go through and start those points wherever you want. It's super important that they know that wherever the teeth hit the blade on the hair is where the those point cut reactions are going to happen. So if they only do it here, it'll only be five point cuts. If they do it down here, it'll be 10. So they get to have complete control with this particular shear. It's probably the safest bet out of any of our texturizers and the reason that it sells the most is because of the versatility behind it. So when men style the hair, they don't like to kick their head on with pomades and oils and all this stuff. This allows hair to fall in its natural position and have movability and texture without overusing product and allowing your hair to look wet. It speaks for itself. It's one of those shears you just have to use and get into stylist's hands. If you're not putting it into a stylist's hand, you're doing something wrong and doing them an injustice.